Hey guys, it's me back, my girl. Um, how am I doing? I'm doing good. But many of you are probably wondering, what is she doing awake? You know, it's like, oh my goodness, it's 424. Well, many of you know that I am on a journey. And I started my journey back in, oh gosh, in 2023. I want to say 2022, 2021. And I've been studying um, the prophet's woman. And see, prophet's the one woman. She is a woman that her candle does not go out at night time. Her light is bright. She is a woman that is hungry for the word of God. And she, her household does not have to worry about winter time and being cold and being taken care of. So her, her lamp does not go out. And you might be saying, well, what am I doing with these clubs? Well, I want my husband to wake up in the morning to a clean place. You know, for four weeks, I was out of, I couldn't work because I had to have foot surgery. And, you know, we all thought it was like, I was, we were told it was precancerous. But thank God, the news was it was no cancer. So I came on these little boot things I had to wear with crutches and everything. Went back two weeks later on. And the doctor said, it's healing look good, but let me set you home with the boots. So that was an extra two more weeks with no work. During that time, that was a lot of pressure on my husband. And he had some things going with his job. So as being a wife, you know, I struggle in, because I was struggling. Like, Lord, how are we going to do it financially? How are we going to make it? But then, see, I was struggling because I wasn't putting my faith in God. I wasn't trusting God. I didn't know where the finance was coming. So I began to get into the Word and, and ask God, what is it that you want me to learn out of this? What are you trying to tell me? And basically, he, told, he showed me from the month of October, November, December, especially November, December, my job, I was working like six days in a row sometimes seven with one day off and I was purposely doing it to make more income in the household to help my husband but you see what I was doing I was putting my job first yes I was seeking God and yes I was reading his bible and I was making the videos and all that stuff but I wasn't giving God my hundred percent if I was giving him my hundred percent I would be trusting him and he would be showing me, you know, I that I got you. So during this four weeks of not working, he showed me that it was time for me just to rest. And as I like to rest, I've been to journal and do my writing and stuff. And I was able to go to church last Sunday, last Sunday was my birthday. And I didn't have a birthday party, but doing the best thing about everything, I woke up that morning with a smile on my face, thanking God for what he's doing in my life. He allowed me to live another day. I turned 56 years old. So I have a new mindset. And I want to share this with, um, to the viewers, especially to the young women, um, wives, if you're a single mother. A lot of times we think we get mature. Maturity comes, you know, when you turn 21, you know it all. When you get in your 30s, you got some wisdom. I'm here to tell you, when I started getting gray hair, I didn't like it. When I was, when I turned like 45, you know, you know, I was, I think around the time, you know, I was a single mom and everything and stuff. But the truth was, when I turned 55 years old, that's when wisdom kicked in in my life. Yes, I went through the storms, the valley, the waves, all of that kind of stuff I went through. But when I turned 55 years old, it was like a, a, a light bulb switch went on. And God showed me. You know, it's a scripture in the Bible in the book of Psalms that it says, Teach me to number my days. And I look at that and I, and I really, that has become my scripture every day. Excuse me, my eyes are watering. And... I want you prophet's women out there, because many of you are striving to be that prophet's woman. Whether you're married or look for a husband, you want to get married, you want a relationship, you're looking for that man to come into your life. Let God be that man.
And for many of you out there who are married, and you who are striving to be a father to a man, and you're like, this is not easy. No, it's not. But if you st 